more defensive necessarily. Yeah. And so I think a combination of those things uh, have really contributed to that. But Goose Khan also a very, I would say, a defensive Falcon. And, and actually his, like, his, his on-hit defensive play, really, really strong. Great CC game, great DI, great like tech game. Well, it's already interesting to watch because um, Guzcon's doing a lot of like little jabs in neutral yeah. that are surprising me. Yeah. But also, I think Calvar a notably unconventional player. So I, I'm going to be interested to see uh, how how they they stack up against each other. But Calvar again, the heavy favorite by seed. It's interesting they started in FD too. I agree. I I mean, I wonder what the the thought is there. Maybe you just don't want to play on a small stage and feel confident in your punish game. I mean, Goose does hit like a truck. So. Yeah, it's almost a mind game for the Falcon. Yeah. Like if you if you just come out even on this game or win it even, like that's kind of scary for Lamar. I agree. Oh, all right. Calva cleaning that up. Pretty, uh, pretty clean. It's so interesting <laughs> when you do something like that, like when Goosecon does the recovering up air to ledge, where it's like, yeah, this would have been safer if you hadn't done that. But if Calvar had some, you know, it's like. It's just funny seeing a level two idea fail the first time you do it. I agree. Because uh, I think that up air is smart, but maybe just double jumping to the left is fine. I also wonder how this is how Goose feels about this, right? Like it's like I this is my chance, right? Is, is that factoring into like your your, your emotional state? Ooh, <laughs> you might have been thinking that when he di'd to hell there. Oh, <laughs> but we're still living somehow. See, and now Falcon will never die. I think this is frustrating. Oh, oh. Uh, unless he presses. <laughs> Nothing on the way to the That event. is a commentator's curse, where he literally heard what I was saying and pressed the big green button and just, died. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Ooh. OK, nice tech chase. Yeah, that up throw Nair um, might lead to the stop here. This is all. Uh, Edge guard. Yeah, there it is. Man, just really cleaning up this game one. Calvar just hit some really strong conversions, and I think uh, catching Goose in, in a lot of strange spots. Yeah, can't find the edge guard there. It's really hard when Marth can air dodge to the stage. Mm -hmm. Like, I just don't think you can cover everything reliably. Even though you can react, just do a quick aerial. Like, he could have just taken an up air. <laughs> but I don't know, that's, that's not ideal. Oh, All right, nice. that'll, yeah. that'll do it. Jumped into the up air. Oh, nice. Okay. This is just kind of had a clean punish going, but now it's Calvar's turn. It, it oh, fell. weird. Uh, that up air, like hitting from Falcon, is very. Strong. Okay, nice, nice. Oh wow, nice uh, ops attack. As well, I will say oh. he's, he's got those. <laughs> oh, counter the from ledge. Classic. Wah, wah. Okay. okay. Who's starting to feel a little bit, a little bit desperate? Dude, I feel like this is so doable for Falcon. <laughs> no, it, I mean, like, it, can, uh, it can be. It's, it's just gonna, oh, okay, he unless he does, jumped. he jumped into it. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. <laughs> All right, oh, yeah, maybe it was also just getting rid of FD right away. Maybe. I mean, I, I don't think so. I, I think that Calvar just came out, you know, yeah. composed and collected. I think, I think that, um, you know, Goosey really used to playing Mar, who I was saying earlier when when we watched him play Sfop. He is like a real methodical, procedural, like flowchart player. Yeah, he likes to set up. And I think I think Calvar is a guy who like throws out a lot of like moves in, in, in unconventional spots with like strange timings, and that also is quite strong. Like picks up his, his combos well. He, he hits hard. Yeah, he's I got agree. a good tech chase. But he's you know he's side being, he's countering, he's throwing out some nutty stuff. And who's to say that? I mean, side B is very good against against Falcon, but like. You know, who's to say that Goose is composed for him? But it yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter when you get kneed in the face. <laughs> okay. All right. See, like, really great composure, knowing he's going to slide off there. Oh, that's down here. Yeah. Classic. Dude, that's always unfortunate when you get the freaking clean stock at zero. Like, you just kill your opponent right when the match starts. And you're like, dang, I'm kind of nice with it. And then they just do it back. And you're like, oh, great. Now it's an even game again. Man, when did we stop calling forward air, down air? <laughs> yeah, great question. But also, really, again, great slide off up air. 
Yeah, good, good wait. Uh, good wait by Goose Kong. Trying to bait up the Yamsa tech, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Oh, a little bit too late. A little too late. You gotta hit those, man. I do think waiting is right. Like, doing it so late is right because you just don't know until Marth actually lands right. what he's slightly eyeing towards or what he's drifting towards. But yeah, you still gotta be quick. Absolutely. All right, cleans it up. Okay. No CC out of the corner. Yeah, that was 78, weird. 85. This is, this is like a, you're not getting that defensive option. On this, it's looking like a, yeah. I like that he did the ledge tech and then let the uh, wall jump like go all the way to its peak before up being. Because then Goosecom was so high up in the right. air when he did that up B. Oh, great awareness by Calvin. Oh, yeah. Picking up, just scooting on the ledge. This has been uh, really touch and go game. Yeah, uh, really. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel. This feels like a shaky game. I'm not really. Hard to place why, but like. Ooh. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Yeah, like Goose just not, not converting. I think in spots where he just really. Like, yeah, okay. he dropped it a little bit okay. there. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Nice. not gonna take, kill. I'll but take that. I'll take that. Get an edge guard. Oh, Ooh, nice. nice. Tax dash, dude. Bates Calvert to, to, to linger a little bit too long. Yeah, that was really nice. Now you want to do something with this lead. Hang out on top platform, maybe. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh see, my. Look at that CC. That is That's really wild because it was like landing the nair and knowing what was coming next. Right. So just holding down and then no, getting a really fast follow-up. No, no Goose, is, Goose is so tough in like really unconventional little spots. Like he's, he's so good off his defensive game, right? I yeah, mean, yeah. We've seen a few of them. And yeah, like absolutely. ledge dash, CC, having the awareness that it's not going to push you back to ledge to get a grab off that is, is. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. And also, yeah, I, I just can't imagine Calvar being that ready for that. I mean, nobody, that like, CC so grab. few people play that way. Yeah. Like, I think it's it's one of the hardest things about Goose Pond's play to adjust to is that his. I mean, because, like, Falcon is a, is a character with, like, four things. He's got, like, four moves. Yes. And, and, and good movement. But he's heavy. Yeah. And so. Using those like universal like qualities of melee, those universal mechanics, and really pushing them a little bit further is such a, a necessary way a lot of the time for Falcon to get big openings. Yeah, that's and a I good think point. Goose leans into that a ton. It's like kind of like Wizrobe acid, right? Yeah, actually, Wizrobe's a great example. And, I mean, and Nun was like one of the the you know founding fathers of, of CC. Yeah, that's true. People right. So that. like. Falcon players have had a, like a long history of, of really dialing in to universal mechanics and looking at what meat is left in the bone. Yeah, Falcon doesn't really have any character-specific nonsense. Mm. Like, I mean, technical other, nonsense. Right. You know what I mean? Like the right. kind of thing. Like what you're saying is just grinding out CC. Right. It's yeah. not something every character does because maybe they're grinding out their rest setup, so they're grinding out the shines. You know, yeah. like Falcon doesn't have that. He just wants. He needs his fundamentals to be ship shape. No, I, I think I think Falcon is a is a bare bones character who gets disproportionately rewarded for playing for a good place. I actually secretly feel that Falcon may be the most honest character in melee, but I, I don't know if I would like this opinion to be propagated. No, I, I know. Oh, but I know. I think he is too. He I doesn't he have is. cheese. He doesn't have cheese the same way everyone else. Right, does. but but. But he hits so hard yeah. for making good decisions that it feels like cheese. Yeah, his knee literally maybe is his cheese. Just because like, it's such a good area. And don't get me wrong, he's got some good moves. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Oh, oh nice. that that's like the chef Wizzy Edge guard. Yeah. No, Goose is Goose is like a real student of like of like tech skill. I I feel like it's like a Wizzy non-hybrid. Nice, of. nice. There's a player like that in uh, New York. Uh, called Glitch, who just kind of oh. started showing up to locals and stuff. Yeah, I know. I, Goose, Goose himself, I was talking to him about Glitch uh, a week or two ago at, at the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. the City Showdown. He said that he thinks Glitch is a combination of, uh, who was it? He, he said it's, it's uh, JoJo and NMW. Oh, my God. Which sounds is horrifying. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, there it is again. Nobody touched the ground. He got his jump. But now he doesn't have it. All right. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh, he did it to him. Yeah. You know, Goose really made it uh, after a, a kind of pretty dominant game one from Calvert. Yeah, it's, it's felt totally different the last two Mixing games. it up, yeah. Calvert taking off his jacket. Pensive, contemplative. Look at this beautiful lower thirds, by the way. I, I You know, whoever made that was actually not me. Whoever made Oh, well, it's, no, it's, it's uh, gorgeous. The uh, the lower third was was made by uh, Head Tio Jules. Nice. I, uh, I may have made the uh, the in-game overlay. Um, well, that one sucks. I know, I know. <laughs> no. All of the overlays are so nice for this hey, event, man. man. Tried my best. She tried her best. Amazing work to the two of you.
Yeah, I love the little flickering. It's like almost like what's happening in Calabar's brain while he thinks of what. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let's just watch the melee. Sorry. I mean. Oh, oh sorry. Duh. Oh. I mean, I, I, I for sure though. I think a couple little adjustments from Calabar, and this is gonna be scary. You just have to start being ready for for uh, just really nutty defensive, like and frustrating defensive play. Yeah, you're right about that. You know, he's a guy like just always ready. But Calabar not losing that stock is a big deal. Right, now, we're, now we're back. Because Guzcon, he, he, he sets up a wall in front of somebody, and, but then also is so ready to act defensively out of that. And so it's like he's walling in front of you, and if you try to hit it, then you get punished for it. Right? Yeah, that's so. such an interesting melee-ism. Yeah. Remember Amso was talking about that, where it's like melee is weird because you can do shallow approaches. You can do not overshoots, right? Like just right. holding space. But you can just hold down the whole time. So you can just like make all these approaches like extra safe. Right, because you can option select like yeah, it's a very strange. Play. And again, you know, Falcon gets a huge reward of getting a grab, which is you know the bread there, you go, the yeah. bread and butter. Oh. All right. I feel like that's one of the big differences of like new versus old Falcon. It's just the grab flow charts. I, I feel mean, like every Falcon knows their flow charts now. I mean, it's it's you have to in this game. Right? Oh my god, like, pit fight! What are we doing? What are we doing? We're holding down. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, man, I, I missed uh, Pokemon Stadium. Oh I'm my back god. into the pit. Sorry. Dude, what are they doing? Uh, this is a really cursed stock. <laughs> oh, and the wall's there. Don't uh, forget. Uh, yeah, Calvar wanted to cross the wall. Oh, oh what my a great god. Man. Dude, this is this is now officially a game that if Calvar loses, he's gonna be like going back to the squad, be like, you won't believe the stadium <laughs> game I had today. Oh my god. Oh, what a mess. The rock transformation just did a number. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. It up. But still, still even. This is this is a dead heat. Calvar, you know, taking the ledge. Take the time on the ledge. Yeah, that nair grab so okay. clean. Oh, oh, goes for a backer. Great little side B there from Calvar to, to, to keep Goose off the ledge. Oh, and Calvar got oh. stuck. And there it is, defensive. Up air knee. That's rough, dude. Classic, Calvar got, got stuck in his shield and then and then got reversaled off that CC. Yeah, no, this is, Calvar is getting reversal to help. And that's yeah. so hard to deal with. And like, really, even there, right? Just throwing out anything. It's like, Goose Con's like a pit bull. It's like, yeah, oh. Hit, hit, oh. And a really clean slide off up air, too. You were oh. talking about that defense. A little bit of a tech club there. Oh my god, Calvar has one more chance. Okay. Okay. Okay, downer. Right. No. Oh. That probably wouldn't have worked. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean. Oh. oh. That's, that's it. Yeah. Coolest wow. combo in the game, baby. Hey man, I you know. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you gotta do the down air into the forward air. Yeah, that's